Uh, Brother of Winning says, not going to hold you. This is in response to the Mind the Game friend of the show podcast. But this may be the biggest checkmate move I've ever seen in my life. NBA players, especially LeBron, having their own platform and actually talking about the game while Skip Bayless evaporates into irrelevancy. Mm -hmm. Um, Then it comes with some of those facts and stats. I see a lot of people are confused about the Skip Bayless situation. Undisputed in the last 45 days, and this is from March 18th, is struggling to pull 100K views and has seen days as low as 50K after NBA on TNT or First Take. It's online basketball creators, um, objectively, king of the fourth quarter as well over Skip Bayless. But this is this is the graph that he's mapped out for us. Uh, on the 15th of January, this is the Monday after the Cowboys lost. Then the 22nd of January, the Monday after the divisional round, which is down for a playoff Cowboys loss. Um, the 29th uh, is the Monday after the division championship, and these numbers are going down. And then on February 12th, the Monday after the Super Bowl, they barely eked over 100K. And since then, they cannot do it. Um, they're... they're you know, we talked about LeBron James's podcast, and there's there's going to be another clip that I bring up. But there's a lot of uh, consequences and repercussions, and you know, trickle downs that are coming out of it. If it means Skip Bayless and the likes are off television, I'm I'm ten, I'm ten times more ready for it. I'm just I'm just a go for that. Yeah. Um. Look, man. I look that the fuck. I'm star. I'm still on that clip. Oh, uh, in terms of the hater. Um, as people that are on the internet, and we're likely going to talk about another hater clip later today. Um, if not, I personally will from a hot take. But um, in terms of like the, I'm just gonna randomly hate a guy for his whole career, no matter what, just because it's entertaining. Yeah, that era is in trouble because of JJ Redick and LeBron specifically. To be honest, no, no disrespect to other players, but they're really gonna talk to X's and O's while also being players. And that's just like an auto checkmate in terms of actual competent basketball, you know, discourse, education, and even entertainment. Now, where I will say, to be fair, and maybe even a little bit weird of an argument, is that J.J. Redick and LeBron will be tasked to be entertaining outside of, hey, I'm J.J. Redick and LeBron James. Now, I think they could do it, but they will be tasked of doing that compared to eras and eras of, a. Hey, we could talk about what a big floppy breakfast picker picker is, but at the end of the day, bro, who to go? So they will be tasked of making sure that they will be uh, be as um, entertaining as such. But yeah, in terms of it being a checkmate move for a lot of these guys, yeah, I think um, ESPN is one of those titans that it'll be very very hard to take down. But in terms of like an undisputed um, other niche sports network shows that are kind of cooked, yeah, yeah, they can be cooked. I don't know about ESPN. Oh. Um. I think it'd be pretty sure. hard to take him down, but it, it, <clears throat> you can work towards it. I, I don't know. Maybe I, I guess not the first I take. I don't know. I'm about to no, say I, after, for now, I disagree. Once I'm not, I'm not even gonna hold you. The fact that you could argue that the Pat McAfee show might be one of the biggest things on ESPN right now. Oh, it will, talking, at, least, at least it'll be in the next if we're talking first take versus other shows. Go ahead. I'm talking the ESPN platform. I oh, think okay. Well, no, 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 no. I'm saying well, the ESPN platform, of course. Um, but I still think there's a, 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 a way for them to have a downfall, and it's kind of happening now with Skip Bailey, not Skip Bailey, Stephen A. Smith and Pat McAfee kind of going like button heads. Um, that's already kind of a sign of this this shit might be coming down. But just to stay on tra- track because I don't want to veer off too much. Um, I love it. I, I'm with it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I kind of slightly disagree, says I think players, especially like a LeBron James and JJ Reddick. They could market a pot, they could market it to simply be. I'm not gonna hold you, nigga. We talking ball around here, like we, we're gonna talk basketball, like that's that's what it is. I'm I, fuck a goat debate, fuck a oh, who's greater than who, fuck a we done with the 90s. They, they can say that for Gilbert Arenas and they can save it for knuckleheads for all I fucking care. We're gonna sit here talking about the picker picking the picker and the picker's picker picking the next picker. That's what we talking about over here, real ball. I mean, that, that'll be their selling point because that's what JJ wants. LeBron James is obviously LeBron. I'm pretty sure they'll dive off into various conversations, and that's where you get the clips of LeBron saying he was chosen. He's a chosen athlete, and you can see people, the talking heads on Fox, talking about that. And that is what I want to touch on, the fact that that's how I know player-driven podcasts and media is 100% going to take over because these programs rely on any little thing players say to survive. 
the fact that they did a whole segment based off of how disrespectful is it that LeBron thinks he could have played football. What? Like, because you don't want to talk about the picker picking the picker and finding another picker? You want to talk about him saying that, yeah, I think I'll be good playing football? Like, that's the segment? Downfall. Fox is done. Them niggas are trash. Them niggas about to get wrapped up. All it takes is probably five more of those, and the niggas really realize. Okay, it wasn't just me, chat. That wasn't just me. <laughs> womp, womp. Yeah. I'll say niggas will finally realize that, Um, you know, there he is. Finally hey. realize what, man? Oh, glad to be back. Realize what? Finally, re finally <laughs> realize. <laughs> Fuck, I lost it. Oh, oh. no. No, <laughs> Yeah, I actually lost it. Damn. Uh, All right. It. Um, I'll go next, man. Um, man, I personally know with old media, bro. And and this is with a lot of things, man. Um, just we were we didn't have choice back then, bro. We did not have choice back then. Only a select few really controlled what we saw in a bunch of different avenues. I know the conversation right now with sports media. It could be television, it could be news, it could be music. We were just, okay, this is where you go to get these things. Three, four platforms dominated those things, and boom, this is just culture now. I know we like to complain about how we like society is now, but I, I really do think this is one of the better things about living in 2024 is the freedom of choice when it comes to media. Now, you might be saying, well, it's diluted the, the overall quality of a lot of these things. You can make that point. You can make that point. But I just feel like now... When anyone can create whatever platform they want from top to bottom, and J.J. Reddick and LeBron are a clear example of the top making their own platform, that's when you get high-quality products like what we're seeing uh, right now. Um, yeah, man, let's, let's, let's shake shit up, bro. Because how, how shit was being done 10, 20 years ago it just wasn't it, bro. There, there's so many different... Things that we could have done differently back then that now we can do with the amount of capital within the entertainment industry and how people can own shit independently now and be successful with it. So, yeah, man, I'm 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 a very big fan of the LeBron pod. Skip Bayless, your cook buddy, been saying this on the podcast for a couple months now. The top of the top is reserved for the athlete and uh, the non-athlete combo. You just need an athlete to be at the top of the game, and uh, you are grasping for straws right now. Um, and you do not have the leverage that you had uh, 10, 20 years ago. So, ESPN Undisputed. <laughs> At LKIAB Pod on Twitter. Hit us. We'll come and make it popping over there again. We'll, co we'll come and give actual good basketball discourse again. We'll give people a fair shake. We'll even do a little bit of narrative painting, which I like to do. We'll, we'll, but we won't just be as egregious as some of y'all. We'll, we'll get it popping. We'll get, we'll get more it more entertaining <laughs> at the very we'll least. More, I'm about to say we're we'll definitely be better in their uh, personalities because God. Yeah. Who, well, just who the only the only that's the only obligations we got is to play back right now, Playboy. Um, but yeah, call us, hit our bang our lines. Um, and to the haters of this, because man, the haters of this was real nasty this week. The haters of this were disgusting. I must say I am a little um, upset when LeBron James is like going on the podcast and he still haven't been on the Draymond Green show. Uh, but when it's your own thing, you kind of can't say anything. So I guess I'll live with it for now. Pick the bone with him that I got to pick with him later. I must say. <laughs> you don't do guest appearances, man. Right. Oh, damn. No, that's not the actor. That's not the hater I wanted to show. That shit is funny. It's two haters that are about to fall out of oblivion, and I'm not going. Do you love or hate LeBron's? Maybe I was. <laughs> and don't hold. Wait, wait, no. Yeah. I could not hate this more. Bro. I could Can not I hate this more. Turn it up a little. There's a big difference between saying I am blessed yeah, yeah. and I am choked. Okay. Right. There is a big difference mm -hmm. between those two. And he said, I am chosen. And maybe what's craziest about it is he said, you know, it's amazing, but I would have been this oh. in any sport oh, any. that I had played. Let's talk about it. Say. Come on, man. Come on, would you show just a little bit of respect Are to those crazy? who have done it? Because you're basically saying, you know what? Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes. Stop it. Stop it. What? And last but certainly not least, 
Did he watch these, it? These Twitter accounts. These little Twitter accounts right here. 824 Mamba. I, Cruz said he sent this. All right, Cruz, I'm going to tell you this. It's why always a Kobe fan, man. It's you always watch, a Kobe fan. You Kobe niggas make it hard, bro. I promise. And not AO pause if needed, but my God. You talked about basic concepts at, like thumbs down and horns chest. This is basketball 101, LOL. JJ called himself a plumber in a failed attempt to sound humble, but it was passive aggressive. We've got to stop, bro. And maybe it's maybe it's not for you per se. But then you get mad at the people that don't know about basic basketball concepts. But also, who are you? Who are you? You're done. We don't want you're, you're you're done, bro. You're done. The the all the muse pages, y'all are done. All this stuff is done now. We we don't we don't want to consume your media anymore. You're done. You're done. It's as simple as that to me. I think and I just can raise. I ain't gonna lie. I need to study up more. No cap. I want to stay in the shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say that that's the unfortunate another con of the LeBron JJ Reddick podcast that we all knew was going to happen as people that, you know, are creators. And I won't say have been guilty of cherry picking, but definitely have talked about things in terms of clips rather than the entire fucking five hour footage. And that is, of course, I mean, they're, they're going to be nasty with it. We know what kind of people not even going to go there. That's why Shady and who is it? Nate? Is it Nate Burles? I forgot to say his yeah. name. They, yeah, that shit pissed me off. They egging them on, right? But um, yeah, we know they're gonna cherry pick shit way out of context without even diving too deep into it. Dog, oh my god, if you watch that shit, not even remotely, <laughs> not not even remotely. It's like he just read a quote and said, Bit, "Fuck LeBron." Dog, it's not even close. But then if you do your Googles, not even just on the pod, on on the guy specifically, yeah, he's just been a hater. So it's not I even. Still know what Shady wants to talk about. Like, you don't got to do that, bro. You got awesome. uh, the pivot and what's the other one. You got those other podcasts. You don't got to talk about that. Did he at oh. least listen to the explanation as to why LeBron even said that shit? Probably just LeBron, didn't care. Le- LeBron, LeBron was talking about how, like, by the time he was eight, he could flip a play, like naturally type shit, and how Dude, like that's not that's, that's not what matters. Thing. They they told him because you know it's their job, their assignment. Hey guys, the Mind the Game podcast is coming out. Make sure you listen. They told him, and they probably already prepped notes. They got somebody that's gonna. Hey, we need the antagonist point. We need the. We need the opposite of what everybody's saying. We need that point. That's the antithesis. We need somebody to create some controversy, right? And so they chose him to be that guy, and he was gonna be the one to deliver that opposite point. He listened. He looked for that opposite point, and they also probably prepped him on that. But that's what they feel like that show needs to have. And in a natural conversation. If we all just agree, we all just agree. Like, mm-hmm. if I say Wimby's having a great season, y'all gonna say, yeah, he's, I mean, he's having a great season. Having... Nobody is tasked with, for better or for worse, nobody's tasked with saying, well, don't he's use phenomenal. Overrated. Don't use phenomenal. Don't use that word. Don't use that. Yeah, uh, also, and I'm usually on the hornier side of things because Joy Taylor is one of the ones, in my personal opinion. But all seriousness, shout out to Joy Taylor for being the one person. She got a huge head, and she needs to stop doing that podcast. But go ahead. (laughs) No, that's it. No, that's it. It's just shout out to Joy Taylor for having a brain. Thank you. (laughs) Like, like the only person on there that genuinely had common sense. My God. 